Hey, we're the Young Makers, and today we're going to be making this super cool backlit sign with our logo on it. So we're going to start by milling up some white oak for the glue-ups. We have all of our white oak milled and now we're going to glue it up into three panels and then this is going to have two pieces cut out of it. The glue up went very smooth. We used three bar clamps and two F clamps on some of the glue ups. Everything was glued together with Tight Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue and we had to refold the bottle. And we just always have a five gallon bucket in the shop that we can refill our bottles. One cool feature of the Avid CNC is that it can actually unclamp up to four glue-ups at a time. So this is all you have to do. Now that these are glued and dried, I can plane them flat. Now that these are planed, I can cut them out of the CNC. the files backwards so I saved the chamfer as the profile so we have this bridge around the outline but um, mom and I think it actually looks pretty good we're just gonna leave it the way it is and we'll just have like an outline of white oak around all the quadrants which we think will look cool so now I'm gonna pop this off and cut the other three Now that I have my four quadrants cut, I'm going to flush route them. And I think a project in the near future is going to be a router table to make this a lot easier. Now that I have the four quadrants cut, I'm going to cut out the letters of Young Makers out of some black acrylic. I rough cut my acrylic over at the miter saw, and now I'm going to drill and screw it to the table of the Avid CNC. Now that I have the text cut, I'm going to take a sanding block to the back to remove this little onion skin, and then we can paint the quadrants. Now I'm going to cut a substrate out of some plywood. And this will be the back piece that all the quadrants get uh, affixed to. Um, I'm going to cut it in a circle a little smaller than the gear 
so that way we can backlight it and you won't see the LEDs or when it's off it'll be more difficult to see the substrate and you'll see just the teeth of the gear sticking out. So I was using an upcut bit and there's a little bit of chip out on the top surface. Um, this isn't going to completely fix it, but I'm just going to take a sanding block and sand the edge. So now we can put the rest of our sign on our substrate. So now I can take my quadrants and letters off and I can put some LED lights around this and so because it's inset that makes this super easy and you won't see the lights I ended up putting the substrate in a wooden rock layer clamp and this actually worked really well because I was able to spin the substrate and see that the LEDs were centered on it. The LEDs are a little smaller because this is 3 quarter inch plywood and this was a really good fixture and method overall. I used one of these clips which made it super easy to attach leads to the LED lights. They're just screw terminals and it, I really like them because it doesn't require any soldering to the LED light strips and I can always swap the lights out in the future if I want to. The clip comes with two pre-tin leads, so I cut those off and re-stripped the wire. These are going to have to get soldered to the wire that goes to the power supply, so then I got prepped for soldering. Now we're ready to start painting the quadrants. Now that I have all my quadrants painted, I'm going to flip them all over, put the substrate on it, and then I can nail it from the back side. Now I'm going to head over to the table saw and cut my French cleats out of this 3 quarter inch plywood. I don't know where I saw this trick. For some reason I want to say it was one of April Wilkerson's videos. What I'm going to do is I have my cleats here. I'm going to put double stick tape on them and then I can place the sign on the wall and the cleats will stick to the sign and I can take it off and screw it down. These are a little behind the uh, cleat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some thin scraps and put them behind them so that they're proud of the cleat. And so that way the sign will stick to them. That looks pretty good. And now we can get our sign. Now that the sign is on the wall, I'm going to mark and drill a hole. 
that this cord can go in for the backlit LEDs. Uh, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna make a mark on the cleat so that way I can just drill right above the cleat and then this wire will be hidden behind the wall. Now I can just look at my mark which is right here. We can go a little above the cleat. Now I have a straight edge clamped to the sign and now I can hot glue on the letters. Then I hot glued on the rest of the letters and cut away all the excess squeeze out. project here. It was a really fun project. Believe it or not, all the material was scraps that we found in our shop, the oak, the solid surface, and um, just lit it up with some LEDs. The Avid CNC made it super easy to cut all the parts out, and everything was designed in Vectric Aspire. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.